I wasn't always so courageous on climate. In my first six years in Congress, 1993 to 99, I had said that climate change was hooey, Al Gore's imagination. All I knew was that Al Gore was for it, and therefore I was against it. After a six-year hiatus doing commercial real estate law, I was re-elected to Congress in 2004. Our son, the eldest of our five children, was voting for the first time that year. He came to me and said, Dad, I'll vote for you, but you're going to clean up your act on the environment. That was step one of a three-step metamorphosis for me. Step two, I got on the House Science Committee and saw the wonders and the warnings of science in places like Antarctica. Step three, I heard the call to love God and love people, people we will never know because they will come after us. Through Scott Heron, an Aussie climate scientist at the Great Barrier Reef, I came home and introduced an alternative to cap and trade, an emissions tax with equal and offsetting cuts in payroll taxes, together with a border adjustment that would impose a tax on imports. My political timing wasn't great, but I wouldn't change a thing. It's been a circuitous path, and one that I would not have chosen, but it's been a good path. Given a choice between the law of love and the law of politics, I know I chose the better.